Good afternoon, YouTube. We're going to be playing some more Civ 5 as the Celts. And I hope you didn't mind the ridiculously long episode last time. I ran out, you know, I, I've been trying to, you know, take a sort of new recording each sort of 15, 20 minute episode, sort of in, in separation. But I did run over a little bit on that one. So I apologize for it uh, being a little bit long winded, but never mind. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure nobody minded particularly. Um, now, what I'm going to be doing, my workers, as, as you remember, have just been sort of scattered around. They have been working and improving all of the um, unique tiles, or the or sort of improved tiles that they can with the deer and all the cattle and, 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 and whatnot. Um, but what I need to be doing after that is sort of thinking, actually, do I want to be starting to build roads? And the answer is beginning to be yes, actually, especially to places like Cardiff, my bigger cities. Um, I think it's probably worth it. So we'll chug ahead. Now, hopefully in this recording session, we should be able to finish the college. We're also going to reform our religion as well, which is going to be good fun. Um, it'll give the religion a little bit of an edge to it. And I will show you how. Now, I am thinking of... I'm torn between two ways of winning this. Um, we've got a... Actually, we've got a few different ways of winning this. But there's, there's one way I'm not going to win it. I'm not going to get a scientific victory. Reason being, I've got so many cities. That 5%, you see, this 5% um, tech increase for every city that I have. It's going gonna, it's gonna to multiply. I don't have the population to really be getting a science victory. I'm not worried about that. What I will be trying to do is any of the other three. Conquest is always a good, stable backdrop. Diplomacy, I'm going to be trying to keep hold of some city-states and we'll see how it goes. We'll see what my gold income is like. Sometimes in wide empires you can make ridiculous amounts of gold. So that's always an option. And lastly, um, the cultural victory. That normally requires building a lot of wonders, but I'm actually going to reform my religion in a unique way and I will show you that now. So let's get the Reformation belief. Now, reforming a religion is the sole reason why you would go down piety. It turns what is already a good religion, which is getting me gold, faith, culture and happiness, um, into something even better. Now, there are a few favourites I have in terms of reforming the religion. Charitable missions. If you man I don't know why you would be going piety if you were going for a diplomatic victory, but that bonus of 30% basically means that you can buy out any city-state like crazy. If you get that as Greece or maybe Siam, you, you will win. There's there's just no other there's no other way of having to deal with that. Um, the other one that I really like is Jesuit education. The more faith you've got, the more you can build in universities, public schools, research labs, that sort of thing. You can build them for free with faith, and it's far cheaper getting them with faith than it is to get them with gold. That can be very good. But seeing as I've got two buildings that I'm building with faith, I, I, that would give me five different things that I could build with faith, and that would get... I don't know, it would be too slow um, having to wait on faith generation there. So I'm going to go for this one. My other favourite one. All buildings purchased with faith, that is my mosques and my pagodas, give me two tourism each, which is effectively one great work of art. So what's going to happen, sacred sites, here we go, is I've now got ten culture. Hooray, ten tourism, sorry. Which means I'm going to be actually increasing my tourism on everybody from... 250 BC. Now this gives me a few options. This gives me a groundwork to be taking a cultural victory later on if I find that I have the spare production and capability to do that. Um, either that or it means that if I do go for a diplomat, uh, sorry, a, a, a military victory, it means that I actually will be touristically and culturally influenced over the people I'm fighting, which will actually mean that if I take their cities over, I will get a lot less population dropout. It's, it's really, really handy to have. Um, it'll increase the science I get from trade routes. It will, it will do a lot of good things for me. So, fingers crossed, we'll be able to play this um, using the religion in, in quite a sort of unique style. But we'll see how it goes. Now, the last pagoda has been built in Douglas, I think. Is that the last one? Yes, I think it is. So we'll have to switch to mosques very soon. You can see here, I can't get past Mason Carney, but that's... So the the um, Shijani, but that's quite normal. They're they're pretty um, they're pretty heavy on their on their land grabbing. And again, Persia's over here. They really have gone to the ends of the earth to to explore, haven't they? Um, okay, this worker has improved pretty much everything he can around here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring him back to Edinburgh and start to get him to build a road. Um, again, this stone is now improved. Getting to the point, well, yeah, Nantes as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start to do that. 
Nantes, you build a road to Truro, and then I'm going to get work when he finishes to build one back. Um, yeah, we're going to start to build some infrastructure now. It'll really, really should help my, um, my gold a lot. Now, well, another thing we need to be doing is getting, um, just to keep our cultural victory open, in our highest population cities, we should build the Artist Guild, Musicians Guild, um, and Writers Guilds. Um, we'll split them up. We don't have one particular city that's going to have the population to have all of them. Um, we're losing pictures again. I'm very sorry. It seems to be the second. I have to reset the computer every two recordings, so um, sorry about that, but I, I, there's not much more I can do. Um, here we go. Um, the mosque. There we go. So we've moved to mosques now. And the mosques actually will get me less happiness every time. Same amount of culture, which is good. We're still getting policies every 20 turns or so, which for considering we've got so many cities is pretty good. Um, and yeah, and, and it'll, it'll give us a lot of faith. If we can get a mosque in all six cities, that's another 18 faith per turn. So it's, it's not bad. We could have got um, an ability that, that lets us buy post-industrial units with faith, with the um, Reformation belief. But I prefer, I, I don't know, it, it seems to be, I don't know, I'm looking forward to being able to use the culture in a sort of different way. So um, we'll see, if, see, see how it works out. Um, Parthenon has been built. That is absolutely fine. As I say, I'm not really a wonder builder. I'm not going to be able to build too many wonders, so it'll be interesting to see if I can pull off anything near a cultural victory. I think what's going to happen is it's going to be a cultural victory aided by me taking over any sieve that provides any resistance to it. So a forcible, a forceful one, sorry. See how that goes. Singapore wants a trade route. Everyone wants something. Nobody wants barbarian encampment declared there, which is a shame. Hong Kong are still my best buds. That's good. That one move, taking out the encampment and, and giving them their workers back twice, that, that worked so well for us. Um, wonderful. Cardiff is now improved nicely, um, which means we can, we can start to think, what do we want to get Cardiff to build now? The Writers Guild. Yeah, Cardiff is our biggest city, to be honest, apart from this. Oh, God, look at those pictures. Oh, dear. You're going to have to put up with it. It's only for another 10 minutes or so. I'm very sorry. Um, let's just keep exploring while we can. No, to be honest, Miss Pictish Warrior now, he's kind of explored everything. I'm going to get him back to my territory and um, upgrade him. Pikemen are coming very soon, you see, so it's not too bad. Darius has got the Terracotta Army. Ooh, that's not good. They're my neighbours. You're supposed to be my friendly neighbours as well. I don't think... Well, I've got walls up in, in Truro, which is the closest place. Um, and I've got composites. Composites Ahoy. So I've got a little bit of army. Third biggest. And you can see, actually, Persia doesn't have the biggest army. They might have been having a fight with somebody, actually. Let's just take a look on, on the global politics to see if anyone's doing anything at the moment. No, no one. Everyone's a bit boring, really. Never mind. Um, aesthetics. So Paykel actually went for piety as well, but clearly they can't keep up with my religion, so it's going to be sucky for them. The one has eras. Very nice. Um, okay. Edinburgh, you are done. So Cardiff, I'm going to let that grow now, I think. I've got so much happiness, and there's a lot of buildings here that I can I can be doing, such as the circus. That's another two happiness that I can populate. Um, and then after that, we will get the mint. That'll give plus two gold. And then the market after that. Let's do that. Yeah. Worker route to Cardiff. Very good. I know I was going to get it to go to Nantes, but I've got another worker sort of dottering around up here. When he's done with that, I'll get him to I'll get him to come over. Okay. I think I might I might wait until artillery before I forcefully expand, just because it takes so much of the problems out of war. Um, 
Yeah, I might do that. And let's see how tourism is working for us. So you can see I'm actually ridiculously already, even with 12 tourism rising at this stage, but it means that I'm already exotic with quite a few people. Um, and yeah, all I need to do is become familiar and then I start to get bonuses from it. So I know that that one policy isn't going to win me a cultural victory. Hell, it won't even get me close, but it will at least do something for me. I'm going to really annoy Buenos Aires by, by going through their territory, but I'm sure they'll forgive me. Brussels haven't. They're, they're angry for me walking through, but never mind. Actually, the good thing about Persia is that they have spread their empire so much between so many civs that even if they do have an army, I very much doubt they're going to be in a position that they can they can fling it at me. Um, they're going to have a lot, of, a lot of other things to be worrying about, really. Okay. Automatic uh, purchase. Yep, yeah, good. We've got our first mosque up. And again, it's it's still increasing our tourism. We've got another two culture, three more faith, another happiness. It's all looking really good, actually. I can't complain. Um, yep, yeah, let's move him back to Edinburgh and I'm going to get the road back to Truro being built. You continue to explore for me. Thank you very much. And you worker, again, Douglas is pretty big. It's lacking, what, what it lacks in production on the coast there, it makes up for in, in population, so it's not too bad. Salt for gems, I do have that to trade, so let's do that, yes. Go for it. I'm actually in a golden age. Oh, wonderful. So if you remember, the next thing that I'm going to look to do is to drop into aesthetics, just to pick up cultural centers. Um, and then we can sort of adjust what we're doing from there. We could, I'm oh, sorry, we can, we can plan. Yeah, we the game is quite open to us, really. We can, we can do what we want. We've got a lot of options that we can be taking here. Okay, the Colosseum is finished. Wonderful. That is good. Let's build another worker. Um, we like having lots of workers, they are very useful to have around. After that circus, two happiness completely for three, it's always worth building those where you can. And then a market after that. Good, good, good. British warrior, again, you just keep exploring. The reason I'm not automating it is A, so that you guys can see the map as it sort of is, is becomes more and more familiar. But also because it, I always quite like seeing where things are, as having just a sort of reference point in the back of my head be quite helpful really. There we go, and then you build a road to Truro. Awesome. Great. We're actually very close to building the National College as well. This deal strengthened our relations. It did indeed. I'm actually going to ask for the full 210 up front. Let's just go 240. That's 8 gold per turn equivalent. Doof. Yeah, they just give it to me. Good old Venice. I like having them as friends. It's great. It means I can actually think to start buying out city-states a little bit later. Wait until I'm in the medieval era. Um, the bonuses you get from being friends with city-states increases then in terms of culture and faith per turn. Um, but yeah. Now one of the advantages of having such a wide empire, disadvantages culture is that I need 50% more for all of my social policies at the moment. The good thing is that I'm actually having to produce more culture than the average civ in order to get there. So we can see the Shezheni, they have the least culture out of everyone I've seen. So I'm going to just have a look at them quickly. You can see that I've got the most culture out of everybody. So I'm just by playing wide, I have a very good natural, um, a very good natural defense mechanism against people who want to play culturally, which is quite nice. Um, oh, I'm already rising with Poland. Wow, look at that. That's not bad at all. Pictish Warrior, again, let's just keep exploring, please. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to get through most of Kani's land, but there we go. That's fine. Okay, I was thinking whether it's worth to buying a few more Pictish Warriors before I upgrade to Pikeman, but yeah, I might do that, actually. I might do that just before the upgrade happens. Yeah, okay. Let's see how much they are to buy. Hopefully they're pretty cheap. Oh, hello. What's going on up? Yeah, 260. Ah, oh, easy. Let's build three. Now, the reason I'm doing that is that I can upgrade them to pike pikemen. And later in the game, when they're lances and then helicopter gunship, really late in the game, I should be able to very easily 
um, have an army that is very strong outside of my lands. So that's it's a very good warrior to have in that regard. Okay, cool. Um, Douglas, you game. You build yourself that Colosseum. After that, build yourself the walls, and then what is everyone else building? They're building the market after that, aren't they? Yeah, do that. Keep yourself busy. Churro is done now. Let's again. I'm just going to make him build one more worker. After you've done that, Truro, I want you to build, uh, yeah, a market. And we'll take stock after that. Worker, again. Right, I'm going to get him to Truro and build the road the other way, in the other direction. Uh, composite, just wait there for a turn. Keep exploring. See, that there was a city state here. It was worth keeping him out. Um, you wait there for a turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. And the next mosque comes next turn as well. I'm getting a mosque every five turns. That's pretty good. I'm going to get to the point where I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm going to have. To, I don't know what I'm going to do with my extra faith, actually. I'll end up getting a ton of um, great profits, which would be good. It'll let me knock out other religions. I sort of, you know, nip them in the bud. Um, Venice is, is spreading Hinduism a little bit. Which is a pain. I mean, Sophia is... Nah, Sophia's following my religion more. That's fine. Chichen Itza, look at these guys. These are all following my religion. Buenos Aires, that's going to take a little while to get there. Prague is almost fallen. That's cool. Awesome. There we go. Um, Pictish warrior. Right, you wait there for a turn. Okay, switch back around. And then you wait there. You switch back around again. I like to have my composites in the base. It's quite good to have them there. The Congo. Hello. How are you doing? Uh, again, just switch around. Thank you very much. Pictish warrior. You just wait there for a turn. I'll build the gold apple upgrade to pikeman. And um, again, it should just mean that we keep a nice, healthy soldier army. That it just stops anyone from thinking that they want to invade us. Um, good. We we haven't fallen behind too much in terms of literacy, and we're going to get the national college soon as well, which will boost us up even more. Let's just build this in Edinburgh quickly. Let's do that. Wonderful. All right. Cool. So. Yeah, uh, oh, another opposition religion. Who's going to do that? No, someone unknown. Someone that we don't know. That's fine. It's, um, yeah, it, it, it's working really well, actually, at the moment. Um, we are, our religion's sort of really taken flight. Civil safe. service now. We've gone into the medieval era. Um, our religion's giving us so much culture, so much faith, so much money um, per turn. I mean, you can see here, we would be bankrupt. We're getting 40, 40 gold per turn. We would be absolutely bankrupt if we if we didn't have all that gold. So, um, you know, we, we, we can't complain at all, really. Um, yeah, so I think I'm, I'm really enjoying this game so far. I hope you guys are as well. Next time, we will be further consolidating. Once we get the National College up, again, we can look to fill in the gaps around us with as many cities as possible. Just, um, again, we want to be kicking out the most production that we can and having the most great art slots that we can as well. So that is where we will be going. Thank you very, oh, hang on, before I forget, let's just put, let's just put writers in the guild. There we go. Otherwise I will forget to do that. Um, so yeah, join me next time and we will finish off the National College and we will just progress from there, really. Um, Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be seeing you in a bit. Bye! Religion enhanced, how dare you? No! No, don't do that. Who is that? Who is that? Venice! Venice! Sorry, I will actually, I will actually say goodbye now. Goodbye!